what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna be talking about scream 7 in this video here today so we have some new potential details about the upcoming film and how Sidney Prescott's family is going to be at the center of it, which is, I guess, the outcome many of us expected and anticipated anyway, given what has happened since November of last year to where we are now. So Daniel RPK has put out a new report stating that they are looking to cast Sid's two kids. It seems like the movie will focus on Sid's family as all four. Her, her husband, and two kids are listed as leads. There are other lead characters, teens, and an adult. So or teens and adult so reminding us that we have those 20 year olds that they're casting and one of them is supposed to be a boy two of them are supposed to be girls so that's still in mind as he has here at the bottom that there are other lead characters teens and adult i think he's referencing his last report about those casting occurrences that are supportedly reportedly going on so with that in mind that makes me a little bit more confident that we are not going to be getting retcons where i was thinking maybe these 20 year old stars that are being eyed are actually going to end up being sydney's daughters but we're going to actually get for the very first time young children being targeted or at least being thrown into the mix of these ghost face shenanigans very fresh thing to see uh, i'm sure it'll play off very well on screen all comes down to execution i'm sure nev campbell and any of you who have saw skyscraper i'm confident she could pull this off from what I saw of her in Skyscraper. Granted, I know that people mostly flocked to theaters to go see Dwayne, since that was mostly a Dwayne showcase, more so than Nev Campbell. If you know Skyscraper and what I'm talking about, you know that she starred as his wife. But it's a similar type of circumstance where she's gonna, obviously, I would assume, be playing this motherly protection role, since Ghostface is gonna be targeting her and those two kids. That means so much to her, obviously. So, what I think this could end up playing out as is... You have one child who gets abducted and then the other child is going to be somebody Sydney keeps close to her throughout the story. And they spend a bulk of this story or the bulk of this movie searching for this child like I've theorized in a lot of my other videos. Now, unfortunately, because of the fact that I think you do need to go there. I, I don't I'm not saying this would be the best thing to do. I wouldn't see an issue if you decided to off one of her children. I think I would lean more so on doing that than her husband, just because I would like for her to have somebody to fall back on as a rock. And obviously she can do that with her husband more so than the little kids. She can do that with the grown man that's in her life. That means so much to her. She can do that. And since we're gonna mess with her piece and interrupt it, there should be something in here that gives the story stakes. Losing a child is a big thing. I'm not saying it would be the best thing to do, but I wouldn't be against it either, depending on how it's portrayed on screen. As long as Sydney is safe, that's really all I care about. And as long as her usage is significant, as long as you give her something to do, which you obviously are going to give her something to do if you have her children at the center of it, getting caught up in all of these ghost face shenanigans. She's going to be playing the protective mother role. Nevigan did an amazing job doing that in Skyscraper, so I have no doubt in my mind that she would do an amazing job doing that here. Yes, I understand that this sounds like it's trash to a lot of people, but is it really that it's trash? Or are we still just trying to be a little bit unfair because of the fact that we're mad about Melissa Barrera? I can understand if Eugene is trash, but if you think it's just trash because it's not involving Melissa Barrera and you just think anything involving Scream is going to be trash because Melissa Barrera was fired, even though I don't agree with her being fired, I can't co sign everything about the film being trash. I'm not going to do that. This does sound interesting. It does sound like it has the potential to be a worthy return of the character of Sidney Prescott. Obviously, it's going down the path of what we would expect anyway. I'm glad there was that mention of there being other lead characters in his report, a teen and an adult or teens and adults, because now it makes me a little bit less concerned about us seeing some unnecessary time jump in which Sidney's kids are older, but she isn't. And then also... I was thinking about the fact that if they're older, that could mess up some of the timeline because she never mentioned having any kids in screen four, because then if they're this old, let's say they don't do the time jump. They could have not done a time jump between the events of five, six and seven. Not, and when I say not a time jump, maybe not anything significant like seven could be a year or two after five and six. How did your kids become 20 year olds that fast? That could have messed up the story if they were then going to explain to us that 
well, she had them before Scream 4. Okay, well, why didn't she mention them in Scream 4? Sure, you could lean on, well, they didn't mention Wes in Judy's circumstances in Scream 4. And look at what we saw in Scream 5. Judy had a son named Wes. One of you, you know who you are, shout out to you. You reminded me that while that is true, Sydney is the main character. And I would imagine Sydney would be gushing over her kids, at least talk about them to a degree. She wouldn't just show up in Woodsboro and not mention, hey, you know, I have Mark back at home and I have my daughters. She mentioned them in five. Why wouldn't she mention them in four? So I'm very... I'm not too concerned about them doing some time jump where it messes up the timeline of when these kids were born or it makes it unrealistic as to why Sydney wouldn't look older. I'm not too concerned about that. I have hope that what we're going to get is for the very first time, just young child stars getting caught up in the midst of Ghostface's latest spree. Uh, I would still lean on true crime. I think that's a worthy story or a worthy thing to explore, given the climate we're in now when it comes to all the true crime docs that are coming out. And all of these very interesting other documentaries with abuse that are happening on the set of certain childhood shows that have been tainted for us. If you watch Quiet on the set, you know what I've talked what I'm talking about. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Do you think this is the right way to go for Scream 7? Do you think it is going to be interesting to see Sydney's young kids in the midst of it? Or do you think that Scream 7 is going to be a bust? Let me know all of that down in the comment section below. I will say this also. The fact that he mentioned there are other teen characters that makes me believe what I've heard also about a nanny role makes me believe that we're going to actually get a nanny. And I do still think that said nanny will be portrayed by someone who is in a very popular premium network show that could potentially be debuting, not debuting, but returning this spring. Again, let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. One last thing. I really hope that with all these reports about characters that it doesn't become too crowded. At this point, I don't need Kirby back. We don't need Kirby. Just lean on the newbies. Lean on the legacy stars you have back with Sydney, Dewey, or not Sydney and Dewey, but Sydney, Kincaid, and Gale, and let the newbies carry the rest of the story. We don't need Kirby. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.